Hello and welcome. You're watching Exo Photography. My name is Daniel. This isn't going to be a ordinary unboxing video. And why would I even do that? Well, I got my camera. Uh, it's finally here. This video isn't going to be about this camera. Um, there are several videos out there on YouTube um, where people is uh, walking through what it is. This video is me getting this ready on my telescope, showing how I mount this on my telescope with the right back focus, the right adapters. I am not going with the usual um, thumb screws or the, the usual adapters. So um, follow me along and I will show you how I mount this camera on my telescope. This is shipped to me from ZWO in the late July. I got it um, the 5th of August. Um, just to show you uh, what inside, if you're if wondering um, if they change anything. So we have a USB 3 cable, I believe about 2 meters long. We have the camera. We have a M42 male to a M48 female. Uh, adapter 16.5 millimeter in optical build length m42 cap and a m42 male to a m42 female this is just a, uh, a basic extension 21 millimeter in optical build length two usb 2 cables usb a to usb b gender exchanger yeah, to make um, the M42 male, M42 female adapter to a male in both ends. A quick guide Allen key for adjusting tilt of the camera. This is the new 26 megapixel monochrome cooled camera. This is the one I have been waiting for since May. Um, USB 3 in, USB 2 out for my uh, filter wheel and focus uh, such um, power in. Huge fan. This is supposed to be cooling about 35 degrees below the surrounding um, temperature. Here is the tilt adjustment screws. Um, so I'm going to check how the tilt is in my optical rig, which you can find up here somewhere. I have mounted the 2600 camera in my optical rig. I just want to show you this. Um, this is stock. I have not been feeling. I am rotating the camera now. And as you can see, there is, you can see the pixels in the left in the picture. And as I rotate this, there is no movement at all from the, um, from the cover window, uh, excuse me, the slip window or the cover window. So I believe this is just perfectly aligned uh, stock from the factory. So I'm actually quite impressed with this. Um, so I am not going to touch it.
let's go through the setup to achieve the right back focus. So, first of all, I'm using the M86 to M68 exchanger. Uh, inside this, I have a Genjir exchanger, so I can attach the 5mm extension here. Um, I also added a small shim, which you can see here, between the extension and the filter wheel. The filter wheel itself is about 29 millimeters thick and after that between the filter wheel and the camera you can see the one millimeter chim. Um, however, I recommend to always use a caliper to measure the real build length uh, because it always uh, doesn't match up. Um, it's always a good idea to have an assortment box of all adapters and shims you ever buy. Um, just keep them, uh, even if it's a small or a big one. Um, it's also a good idea to keep a list of all your parts you have to make it easier to calculate the back focus of your setup. But once again, always measure the true length uh, with the caliper since the theoretical optical build length doesn't always correspond to the real world. In my case, with a 3-inch wind corrector and my 10-inch astrograph, I needed 64mm back focus plus an additional 1mm to compensate for the glass filter, which adds one-third of the thickness of the filters, in my case 1mm. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Now I am going to get some coffee. Bye.